in this video we shall cover a concept by the name human rights these are legal claims that universally belong to people from the uh, born time or the time of consumption therefore the rights and freedom are supposed to be applied uniformly across all human beings with no discrimination based on their race religion or nation state however human rights are encountered by some core limitation in order to regulate citizens so citizens are not or omnipotent or all strong but they are limited by some human rights are limited in order to control the behavior of human being we have various justification for human rights one of them is dignified life the enable human being to achieve a dignified system of life either physical and spiritual need in their life they are also inherent that one is another justification of human right human rights are inherent to all human beings in the society also another justification of human rights is minority treatment they justify the special treatment of marginalized and disadvantaged group in the society another justification of human rights is empower it empowers citizens Human rights empower citizens against violation of their rights. Another justification of human rights is guidance. Human rights provide guidance to organs of states regarding exercise of their power. Also, another justification of human rights is information access. Human rights ensure that citizens have access to necessary information through freedom of speech and press. We also have various classification of human light. One of the human rights classification is civil and political rights. We also have socio-economic and cultural rights, and we also have solidarity rights. Civil and political rights as one of the classification of rights of human rights in this classification it gives people freedom to think access information and choose what they want to do so in civil and political right people are given freedom to think access information act and choose what they want to do it also guarantees citizen liberty and equity as uniform entity of state it is also referred to as first degree right so these are rights which you are given from the time of your consumption in your mother's womb of, uh, until you leave this earth or until you die the rights include right to life, right to liberty, right from torture, cruelty or human treatment you also, you also provide right protection from discrimination it also provides freedom of movement from one place to another it also give you right to own property so this one all these rights are based on civil and political rights we also have another classification of rights based on socio-economic and cultural rights these are security oriented right because they provide social and economic security it is also referred to as second degree rights so these are second degree rights which enable your coexistence is this earth but they are not as essential as the political and civil rights so the rights include right to work so every citizen is given right to work and earn a living right to form or join trade union of one preference so every citizen is given right to join and participate in the trade of union of his choice which perpetuates his, his or her interests right to social security so in every member of the society or state is given a time to join any social security which can fund him or which which he can put security which can serve him in later times right to education every member of the state is given right to access necessary education basic and advanced education right to an adequate standard of living family so 
every member of the com of the state or society is given the right to access a comfortable living life or a standard living life which provide him with the basic need right to take part in cultural life every member of the state is is allowed by the road to participate in his or her cultural life but in the exception that it does not violate the state rules or the rule of law or also infringe the right of others we also have another classification of right referred to as solidarity rights solidarity rights is another classification of human right. It requires a state to create condition for peaceful living, therefore establishing uniform opportunity for individual and group in a particular state. It is also referred to as second generation rights. So solidarity right is also referred to as second generation rights. So these are rights which are also not as more important as the second generation right and the first generation right since if you are denied the first generation rights and the second generation rights they are essential in your development as compared to solidarity rights some of the characteristics of human rights one of them is that human rights are unerable therefore human rights cannot be separated from any person in excess of advantage of another also human rights are universal Human rights are supposed to apply to all persons in the world uniformly without any measure of discrimination. Also, another characteristic of human rights are indivisible. Human rights cannot be denied any human they, they cannot be denied any of their freedom and rights. Human rights are interdependent. Human rights are dependent in other rights and freedom to achieve their effectiveness. So, human rights are not all omnipotent or all depend, uh, uh, dependent, so they are dependent on other rights in order to be applied effectively. Human rights are inherent. The human rights are inherent and attained by every person from the time of their conception to until death. Human rights cannot be suspended. Human rights cannot be suspended by any person, but in exception of public emergencies such as a coup d'état. Human rights are inviolable. This means that human rights cannot be violated since they are God given. There are certain bodies monitoring implementation of human rights. One of them is the police and law enforcement officers. So, police and law enforcement officer ensures that human rights are guaranteed by the state and also individual coexist well in the society. Lawyers and judges, lawyers and judges in court ensure that human right is dignified and justice is achieved. Also, trade union movement help citizens fight for human rights in the trade and ensure that there is effectiveness in trade and citizens gain their rights. Journalists. Also, journalists help to fight for citizen rights. For instance, CNN covers some programs which fight for people's rights across the world. Also, the, and, uh, another station like Al Jazeera, religious organization, religious organization are also core in, fight, in fighting for the freedom and rights of people. Also, we have special commission which also fight for the rights and freedom of people such as Amnesty International. You should note that application of human rights can be suspended where there is a public emergency in this state. So all these human rights can be subjected to be to some limitation if an emergency occurs to a state such as a coup d'état where the army take over the government. So thus can limit human rights or where the individual act in contradiction of human rights or also enjoy his, his human right and violate the right of others. Thank you for watching. Kindly remember to smash the red button so that you not miss out any of my future content like this. Thank you.